Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another comic book review as I take a look at Deceased Dead Planet issue number four. As issue number four begins, it looks like Mr. Miracle got that much needed shower he desperately needed. And that's a good thing because now he's surrounded by what's left of Earth's mightiest heroes as they formulate their plot to try to get Cyborg into Metron's chair since it has all the knowledge of the gods and if they are going to find a cure to the anti-life equation, this might be their best shot. But before heading out onto their mission, John and Mary Marvel go on to recruit Dina, who is still very reluctant to leave the infected Green Arrow behind. But in putting the greater good before her own needs, she agrees to go on the mission. Now just because they might be Earth's mightiest heroes doesn't mean that they're always Earth's smartest heroes. That when they do catch up with Metron, they begin to attack him instead of trying to reason with him, which proved to be not a wise decision. Metron begins to leave, but Superman and Mary Marvel make a mad dash and are able to reason with him. Metron tells them just being straightforward with their intentions would have been much simpler. Now Metron makes a deal that if Mr. Miracle lends him his device to look into the future, Cyborg can sit in his chair. At first, overwhelmed by trying to process everything he's being hit by, Cyborg is able to lock on to what is the cure. He'll just need to recode his blood and the life equation will be there. Now we still are left with a mystery to see if Cyborg did have enough time because in a split second, Metron just hightails it out of there after he sees what the future holds. And that future is an unliving dark side. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give Deceased Dead Planet issue number four a 7.5 out of 10. The writing by Tom Taylor, at least through two thirds of this issue, the beginning and the end were solid. And while not bad, I felt like the middle of this issue where our heroes visit New Genesis, the home of the new gods, felt like a bit of filler. Now will some of the story with Mr. Miracle being reunited with his son have some sort of payoff? We'll just have to see as we're down to just three more issues left in this series. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for this comic book review for Deceased Dead Planet issue number four. Now for those of you who have read this issue, what did you think? I thought it was a good issue, but out of the four issues we've gotten so far, it was definitely the weakest and I'm hoping for some big payoffs coming in the final three issues. All right guys, if you like comic book reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it, go now, do it now.